Hello, welcome to Scratch Review Printing. Today is a special day for the Cobra 3 and Cobra 3 users. Let's scratch to this topic. Anycubic just released their newest slicer, which is called Anycubic Slicers Next. Which is a little bit weird, but hey, they can call it whatever they want. Why is it special or anything like that? It's just another slicer. Well, Anycubic Slicers Next is based off of Orca Slicer, so they potentially just took Orca Slicer or just fork Orca Slicer and make it their own and integrate some of any cubic features into Orca Slicer. It's totally fine because all of them are open sources. This Anycubic Slicer Next is great. It has Orca Slicer's amazing features and Anycubic also integrated their monitoring system for the Cobra 3 or for all of their 3D printers. I think all of their 3D printers. I'm not quite sure but most of Anycubic 3D printers is supported in any cubic slicers next. And we are getting the monitoring system for the Cobra 3. So as you know, any cubic slicer has the monitoring system for the Cobra 3, but if you use Orca Slicer, you cannot do lamp printing or even control the Cobra 3 on your software. You need to do it on the Cobra 3 screen. But Anycubic Slicers allows you to control your Cobra 3 or your 3D printers from Anycubic on their software. But then Anycubic Slicer is kind of outdated and most of the features is not really viable anymore and some of the settings is pretty confusing. I've been using Anycubic Slicers ever since I got this Cobra 3 because Orca Slicer doesn't really support what the Cobra 3 has. Unlike the Cable Max or the Ender 3v3, which uses their IP address, and you can just put that into Orca Slicers. Then you got full access to the 3D printers, you can control the 3D printers, you can do lab printing, you can do anything you want with the 3D printers that on the screen, and you can do it on the computer, or even more than what you can do on the 3D printer itself. For the Cobra 3, you cannot do that on Orca Slicers or even any cubic Orca Slicers beta. But now you can on Orca Slicers next because they integrated the monitoring system. And I think the reason why you cannot control it via Orca Slicer is that the Cobra 3 doesn't use an IP address like the Cable Max or the Ender 3v3. It uses this specific number or like a, I don't know, like a code, like a num numbering code for the Cobra 3. And you use that specifically for any cubic slicers. And all the slicers doesn't support that. But any cubic next slicers does support that now. So you can control your Cobra 3 and you also get all the amazing features from Orca Slicers all in one package from any cubic slicers next. You can now control your 3D printers, heating the bed, heating the nozzle. You can move your 3D printers via the software. You can control the A's, you can select the colors and all of that good stuff. You can even do multicolor printing with any cubic slicer next. I will leave the link down below so you can just go ahead, click it, get to your destination, and if you want to, download any Cubic Slicer Snacks so that you can get full control of the Cobra 3 and use all the amazing features from Orca Slicers. But enough talking, let me show you how to download, what the interface looks like, and I will send a print via the software to the Cobra 3. So let's go. This is just a wiki for and the cubic showing all the new things that they added. And the cubic slicers next, which is a Orca version. So any cubic slicer is an open source, so they can use other open sources like Orca slicer. And Orca slicer can use any cubic slicer without any problem. So I believe right here is where they use Orca slicers, which is the version 2.1.1. They integrate it into any cubic slicers and added more stuff from any cubic. Ends. And right here, Anycubic Slicer Next Orca version update record. So this is their version 1. It's a fully released version of Anycubic Slicer. They also say right here, it's window only. I believe it's window only because they only have one one right here. But if you go to here, which is Anycubic official website, Anycubic Slicer Next. You can have it for Mac and or Windows. I'm not quite sure if this is for Mac. Those of you that have Mac, you can go ahead and try it. I'll leave this link and this link down in the description down below. So let's see what they added to this update. They update the product name to Anycubic Slicer Next. Okay, and the new logo. Amazing. We will look at that later. That's the new logo right here. They add account login and workbench function, support remote printing, machine control, video monitoring, and other remote capability. Cap cap and other remote things. I can't pronounce that word. Compatible with more formats of 3MF files. Okay. 
Hopefully I can use work on slicers files and import it into any cubic slicer next now, hopefully, because as of right now, I cannot do that. Supports opening project file from more sources, amazing. Adding printing parameters for K3. Added PLA matte, PLA glow, PLA silk, PLA high speed. Added K2 Pro, K2 Max, K2 Plus, amazing. Added AI fry noodle detections function, okay. They also added smooth mode time lapse, nice. Added maker online model library to pull up to the slicer software amazing so now we are in any cubic slicer next if this is your first time opening it will prompt you with this screen right here you can select all the 3d printers that you have for me i'm just gonna select the cobra 3 because that's the only one that i have i'm gonna click confirm and now i have the cobra 3 printers profile here if we look at the top left right there it has three windows computer preview and workbench here is the workbench for your Cobra 3 or your any cubic 3D printer. The first time you open this, you want to have this. It will just be a page where it shows you the step by step of how to get this. Basically, you just need to log in into any cubic and then add all your 3D printers and you will have this screen right here. So this is what I'm talking about. The C and code right here for the Cobra 3. I believe for the Cobra 3. It has a difference in code so you need to use this code in order to control your 3d printer it's unlike the kill map where you use the printer's ip address and then you can control your 3d printers from the software okay i just turn on my cobra 3 and my ace pro if you are not familiar with any cubic slicers i will just walk you through print task print test right here is when you start printing it will show you the model it will show you the time and it will show you all the information about your 3d model printing this is your print setting for your cobra 3 and then this is your 3d printers over here it shows you which 3d printer you have selected oh and look at this we have a new firmware version available for updates let's go look at that so the latest update should be 2.3.3.2 for the cobra 3 and then for the ace pro it should be 1.3.82 i tried to find what they have added to this update but i could not find it if any of you know where to find it let me know in the comments down below so i'm just gonna click update and update right here okay i think i can just update one at a time while that's going let's continue right here actually smooth right here is where you can control up down left right on your 3d printers <laughs> management right here is your ace pro ace pro 2 if you have two ace pro and then external rack which i believe is just one rose of filament edit your rose of filament based on what you have in your ace pro so you click the color and then you click the pencil right here and now you can edit and put any types of filament you have in there and the colors too you can also control ace pro which is right here you can do auto refill what is that well if you have white here and white here and if they are both pla if the first white runs out it will use the second filament which is also white as the same as your first filament so both the filament has to be the same in order for it to auto refill enable dry you can enable drying of your ace pro via the software now which is nice you can set the temperature from this range you can set the time from this range or you can just click the presets that they have here so what is this black screen well it's your camera you click this play button down here and voila look at that the camera is working hello it's kind of laggy but it works right it works yeah you can tell if your printer is failing or not, which is good. AI detection is off because I don't really want it to be on. And that's pretty much it with this workbench interface of your Anycubic 3D printers. Okay, so my Cobra 3 is done. I'm gonna be doing the Ace Pro now. Okay, it's not working. I'll do that later. I'll do it later. I got a model load in and Anycubic slicers. It does not have this feature, which is the feature I really love using in Orca Slicer, which is this one up here called Auto Orientin. I think that's how you pronounce it. You click that and it just put it to the correct position or like the best position where it has less overhang. So you don't have to use support. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. But if you have simple geometry, it works most of the time. Okay, I can now update the Ace Pro, let's go. And everything that you do will pop up in this screen right here, even for the Cobra 3 and or the Ace Pro. Okay, it's shutting off and now it's rebooting. I'll see if I would need support in this 
model here, it's still a little bit different from Orca Slicers because of course it's in Cubic Slicers though. They will integrate their font, their logo, their color scheme into this and the pictures and stuff like that. So I'm going to do fill, do overhangs only, do 45 degree angle and looks like that is 45 degree angle so I'm just gonna do that so it has a nice finish not like a really bad finish it's still it's still gonna be bad because it has supports but it's a lot better okay that'll be it so now my Cobra 3 and my Ace Pro is all up to date on the latest firmware so now I can start and do some printing but sometimes after a firmware update you actually really want to do a bad calibrations but I will skip that and see how it goes. I'm gonna start and print this piece, but I will just do some quick setting changes. 60, 60, I don't want 45, that's way too slow. Usually I do about 80. Out of wall, I'm gonna do 240, and then I'm gonna do 300 just to speed up things. Even for this, top service, 250, and yeah. Support, turn on support. I'm gonna do tree manual, I just love tree. I don't need any brim, so I'm just gonna turn off brim. <laughs> Um, outer brim only, but make that zero. Just do that. Wall loops, I'm gonna do about three wall loops, and I'm gonna do 30% infill and 3D honeycomb. Let's go. The reason why I do 30% infill because this piece is a piece I'm gonna use in a future project and it's gonna require lots of strength. Layer height, I basically just kept that default. Let's do stagger in a seam right here just to get a little bit better seam and I'm ready. So I'm gonna slice this. It's gonna take about 3 hours and 5 minutes or 3 hours and 9 minutes for the total time. And let's see the infill. Yes, I think that looks pretty nice, pretty good. Okay, and the support, let's just check the support we're really quickly right here okay it's printing pretty nicely okay so now we are done and this is the main amazing features that that i've been waiting for and i believe many of you guys has been waiting for remote print right here i click that and now this window pops up it will give you the print test the name of it it will give you the hour estimation the amount of filament has been used and you can choose your filling text here. I'm gonna choose the orange one. Select your 3D printers. I only have one. AI detection, time lapse. I'm gonna try time lapse. AI detection function requires a camera to be connected in order to activate. Okay, I'm not gonna use AI detection, but I'm gonna do the time lapse and see how it looks. People are still complaining that it doesn't have the auto bed leveling before you do a print. To be honest, for me, I don't really do that because it's just a waste of time. But it's good to have there, but it's not here yet. Hopefully they add that in the future. So let's start printing. Oh, let's change this again. It looks like you can reset it. Okay, now let's start print. It's setting the print over. Let's see. Downloading files. And then change to the workbench interface. 100% and it's moving look at that whoa that's weird never had that before never had that move and then come back but hey it's working I think any cubic did look at that it's homing twice never had that done before I think any cubic has changed the start print and end print a little bit they say that once this end the build plate is going to come forward before the build plate goes all the way back which is very bad because you want it to go forward right I don't know why they make it go back but hopefully this time it will come forward well now the any cubic is all up to date on their any cubic slicer snacks and it's fully supported the color the multicolor printing and especially land printing we are now kind of hand free, but if you have this 3D printers and you have a Cable Max or other types of brand, you have to use like Orca Slicers for this one, and if you use Slicers for this one, and if you even use Prusa, maybe you have to use Prusa for that 3D printers. But for me, I just use Orca Slicers and any Cubic Slicers. If this 3D printer works with Orca, I'm just gonna use Orca Slicers, right? But this is good enough for now. I was gonna end the video here, but. I'm gonna wait until this is done printing. I'm gonna show you the results at the end and I will try to see if I can find the time lapse for this print and see all of that good stuff in one video instead of making separate parts because that will not be good. But for you, it will just be a split second. For me, I'm gonna have to wait and figure this out. But 
We will see how it goes. The print has finished, but I totally forgot that I was making a video, so I took it off from the build plate already. But if I remember correctly, the build plate still goes all the way to the back. It doesn't come to the front. Let's examine this part. The support just came off super easily. I just like do that and then it just came off top layer as always for the cobra 3 is very good the cell wall quality is really good too i feel like the cobra 3 printing is very good on the sidewall because most of the 3d printed parts if you look it upward like this you can see the layers staggered like not super flat some of it like this some of it like this it's not like super flush but for the cobra 3 it seems and looks super flush and super even throughout the whole thing right here you can see that there's a layer cut off right there because it goes up and then you can see that there's like two lines right there that's pretty common with these kind of parts so if you can see this part right here this is what i'm talking about right here you can see the layer staggering like upward right there you can definitely see it but over here it's like super good it's going up like this so it kind of screwed up right there but this side prints perfectly this side has a layer defect right there but it's totally fine overall it still prints really nicely and yeah i'm impressed with any cubic slicer snacks well basically it's just orca slicer but you cannot control your 3d printer via the software which is a plus which is very nice i'll try to find and see if i can get the time lapse i cannot find the time lapse anywhere not on the 3d printer not on any cubics phone app not on maker online and or any cubic slicer next and here i'll show you if we look at any cubic slicer snacks we can see that this part is still being printing or it's still be printed but i click the pause button and now it's being paused once i click the resume button it's just loading forever because the print has already finished but i think yesterday when it gets to about this point right here i closed down this software and i think it kind of got stuck here so it's not loading anymore and you keep it that's a bug fix it <laughs> i click resume i even close the software and reopen it and it's still the same I don't know why it does that. That could be the reason why I cannot find the time lapse anywhere. But I wish they would just put the time lapse like somewhere in here so that it's easy access instead of trying to put it like a hidden spot. They can just add like a part here for time lapse and that will be so much easier. Well, I think that will be it for this video. It might be a longer video than usual, but I think it's worth watching through the whole thing because I go through all the process of downloading, talking about what any cubic slicer next is, which is basically Orca Slicer with integrating monitoring for any cubic specific 3d printers the main thing is you have orca slicer and you can remote print your cobra 3 now which is very nice that'll be it for this video if you enjoyed this video leave a like let me know in the comments down below have you done the time lapse and if you have found it let me know in the comments down below thank you so much for watching and as always keep on 3d printing